In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite strategies to be able to beat one of the best defenses in Madden 23 from the beta, and that is the cover three drop coverage with the outside thirds that play absolutely ridiculous. So today we're going to show you a very simple way that you can attack the cover three defense while also still being sound fundamentally against pretty much anything that the defense can do to stop your offense. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and we do videos like this every single day uh, to help people become better Madden players. And so if you're looking to get better at Madden, especially with Madden 23 right around the corner, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. Now, this concept that I'm teaching you today, it works in Madden 22, but it really is a great concept for the Madden 23 beta as well as the Madden 23 game as soon as it launches. I found this concept in the Madden 23 beta. It, it there certainly works. And so I just wanted to share this. This is kind of a Madden training camp, if you will, where we're just trying to come back to some of the core basic fundamentals so that you can be equipped with what those are as we head into Madden 23. Now, I'm going to be showing this out of the trips tight end formation. I think that the trips tight end is one of the best formations in Madden 23. And if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. Uh, it's just $10 to sign up. And as soon as you sign up, you'll get access to the entire offense of ebook, as well as any additional updates while you're a member, including our Madden 23 version whenever that launches in August. So we're just going to come out in the play. My favorite play for cover three is the PA slot corner out of the trips tight end formation. And what makes this so good against cover three is the fact you have to understand what is it that cover three does really well. Well, cover three has this curl flat zone that essentially will play high or low depending on the situation. It also has this outside third. So essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to try to attack the cover three essentially away from this guy right here. This guy is the best player in a cover three defense, especially in Madden 23. He kind of closes off a lot of the middle of the field. Um, this is what would be known as a middle field closed coverage, meaning they actually have a deep defender devoted to the entire middle of the field. It also means that we have these underneath defenders that are also devoted to the middle of the field, such as these two hook curl defenders and, of course, the user defender, uh, Levante David. So how we're going to attack this is actually fairly simple. Um, what I like to do is you have to understand what an outside third is going to do. And so what we want to do with this here is kind of a couple of different variations of this. But essentially what I like to do is streak Randall Cobb. Um, that's kind of the one of the primary things that I'm going to do is streak Randall Cobb. Now the second thing that I'm going to do is kind of up to you. You have to understand that most people in a cover three defense like this, they're, you're not going to be able to throw your tight end corner. And I'll show you what I mean. So this tight end corner on the right side, because there's no vertical route, that third will play it really well. As you saw right there, he did kind of play that, play that route. So a couple of things that we can do with this. One of them does require outside apprentice. But I do want to just show you the fundamental um, call that I'm probably going to make, especially if they're in cover three. So if they're in cover three, I'm probably going to make this call right here. And what you'll see is that this corner route will do a really good job at kind of getting over the top of those zones. Now, again, I think the biggest thing that you have to understand is the what if game. So one of the things that your opponent might do is they might do something essentially like this, which is called double flatting. It's where they're going to have an underneath zone over here for a flat route and an over the top zone for your corner route. To illustrate this as best as I can, I'm just going to man this guy up onto the corner route. And so now if you look at the coverage, you're going to notice that there's this big, big void right in here, as you can see, big void. So how do we want to, and I think that's a deeper question of cover three coverage beating. How do we want to attack that void right there? Well, this drag route is really effective for that. So you see they do a double flat. Now we can throw that right in that little window. However, we can't throw that if our opponent's user goes over there. And I'll give you an example of that. So let's say that their user defender, and we'll just do it. We'll just do it kind of like this, if you will, just to try to illustrate it. So... There's that, and then I got a little hard flat here. And then now my user defender is going to basically come over here and take away the drag. Okay, just kind of a 
basic idea. So now what this leaves them with in terms of what they can use is this curl flat over here or this hook curl defender. Now, if you think about it, your tight end can do a couple of different things here. But my favorite thing to do with the tight end is something just as simple as putting him on a curl. And the reason this curl route works so well if it, against this hook curl, you see right there, if I just throw it like that, it's going to cover it. However, what I can also do um, against this, and again, this is a drop eight coverage. You're not always going to get drop eight coverages. Sometimes they're going to you know, drop this or that. But if they have this yellow zone and this curl flat defender and their user is coming over here to take away this drag, this is probably one of the better coverages that they could have for this in particular setup. But there is something else that we can do um, with our tight end, and that's just simply drag him. And we're just going to create essentially two high-low reads. Um, or not two high-low reads, but two, two reads essentially. And what this is going to do is it's going to force that user to guard there and then be able to guard there, and then you can still throw your corner route to that sideline. Another thing that you can also do for a situation like that where they're really manipulating their underneath a version of their cover three to try to take away the flood concept, and then they're kind of helping with their user over in this area like so, one of my favorite things to do is motion. And um, to me, this is one of the best things that you can do. So if they're really trying to get super aggressive with this coverage, we're going to use some motion. And so all we're going to do now is we're going to drag our tight end, but then we're going to bring this backside dig route to Devonte Adams, as you can see right here. So he's in motion and we have him on a backside dig. So now they're going to have to lurk the drag like so, and then you're going to have that dig coming in behind it. So those are some really simple little ways that you can still kind of keep your concept intact right your ability to attack the attack the deep sideline on that trip side um you know but now you can you can bring it back across now one of the element that i did want to bring up about cover three and that is the ability of your opponent like i said to do the double flat on both sides so let's say that they do a, a double flat on both sides just to illustrate this we're going to do this defense right here um i think that this illustrates it about as good as you can so we have this double flat coverage um, on both sides of the field. We've got this middle of the field guy. And then let's just say this is our user, just to kind of illustrate. Okay. So they're going to be in the middle of the field. Well, they've got double flats on both sides, right? So this coming back across to our original concept, this right here is really good against something like that. Because the user has to choose, am I going to take away the curl? Or am I going to take away the outside defender? So in this example, well, he's going to take away the curl because that's kind of in his line of vision. So he takes away the curl. Well, you see the drag comes right in here. And now I can continue to move forward easily. So in order for them to stop your flood to the left side, they basically have to do what we showed you originally where we're going to take this guy and put him in. Or they're going to double flat this trip side. But over here, we're not going to double flat it. We're going to do something, you know, essentially like uh, something like this. So we have like a little bit of a hook curl kind of vibe to us with a like a cover two defense. Now, if you think about this, and, and let's just say they have the outside third to kind of keep the cover three concept intact. What we can do, and just to illustrate this back to the motion principle, we can force them to have to double flat the left side of the field and that easy way is the same motion that we're talking about but this time we're going to do something kind of unique so we're going to motion adams we're going to put him on a streak and we're going to drag lazard so you see this is basically what the play looks like really simple ver variation but and it looks exactly the same but now we're going to attack deep on the sideline there as you can see and, and i don't know how davis played out of his mind but you see the idea so we can take the concept, if you will, and kind of make it on both sides of the formation. Another really good way to do this is to motion the triangle receiver to the left side. It's going to kind of put him in a unique position. And then now you still have your flat. Um, so they have to now have a double Mabel on both sides, as you can see. And you can attack deep down the sideline on that side. 
So to me, those are some keys that you need to think about in terms of beating the cover three coverage. It's all about manipulating those outside third safeties and then getting over the top. If they truly want to go with a double Mabel, and I'm just going to show you kind of an abbreviated version of a double Mabel here real quick, they're going to have to do something like this right here. As soon as you get them to have to do stuff like this, you're, it's going to open up your entire offense. That's one of the main reasons why I like this so much. So let's say we do get them to double Mabel on both sides, and then they're going to have this guy is their only guy in the middle of the field. Back to our original concept at a PA slot corner. It makes this such a difficult play to guard because they can't guard the curl and the drag, as you can see. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about the Trips Tight End offense, be sure to join my Patreon where you can get access to my full Trips Tight End offensive ebook and all of the concepts that we're planning to implement in Madden 23. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the ebook, just join the Patreon by clicking the link down in the description.